Hey Royal Family, welcome to my General Hospital Daytime Drama Channel. I am your hostess, the Daytime Drama Queen. I have more of the comments that you all sent in. Thank you. Now, let's get into it. Sheena Bruce wrote, What are they doing with Sprina doesn't shock me at all. They do this with all their interracial couples. That's why I try not to get too involved when it comes to interracial couples. It seems the writers are trying to make Esme, Spencer, and Ace an instant family and have Sprina have no SL or add other people to make it seem like Spencer is really not into Trina. It's like African-American women are just placeholders until the right character comes along. Thank you so much for that, Sheena. Sheena, what GH is doing now makes absolutely no sense. It defies logic. We just saw the other day that Spencer and Trina made a pact that they would remain together no matter what was thrown their way. Now we find ourselves on a topsy-turvy roller coaster with no end in sight. Thank you so much. Nikki Phillips wrote, I'm going to weigh in. Before these other writers took over, Sprina Connection was not there. I expressed something. I will say it again. Sprina's storyline started to dwindle when the announcements of his Netflix deal because they don't know what to do with Sprina. It's up in the air. Spencer could be gone for months or may decide not to come back. That's why their storylines suck. And that's why they're hardly in GH on GH lately. I know you guys noticed this. Thank you so much for your comment, Nikki. To me, the Sprina storyline started to go south when Esme and Ace came into the picture. GH knows that Sprina is a ratings juggernaut and they are stringing us along to prolong Sprina with Esme and the baby. And now it seems that Esme is plotting again against Spencer and Trina. It's the same old storyline. Thank you. Hot Tan wrote, It's too soon for the writers to react to the Netflix deal. There are other actors who has side projects all the time. NAC did a movie called Crashed last year. I don't think that Netflix movie is a big deal. He's still under contract. Josh Swickert and Cameron Matheson does have Lifetime movies as well. More importantly, there is a writer's strike. But even before that, once they decided to give Esme a redemption storyline and Spencer living with her, that's where the problem began. Thank you so much for that comment, Hot Tan. I also noticed that when Esme and Ace came into the picture, they gave Esme a redemption storyline, and now she's reverting back to her old sinister ways. Thank you. Tony Valdez wrote, I just want Trina gone or at least written off for a while. Hmm. Thank you so much for your comment, Tony. Tony, with Trina being out of the picture, what is it that you want to see? Send me a text. Send is Chris writes, I can see potential for Trina developing some feelings for Dex. Trina and Spencer are not together and they agreed not to make any effort to be using Portia as an excuse. Therefore, she is emotionally vulnerable, vulnerable if she begins confiding in Dex. Feelings could develop 
I think she would fight those feelings out of respect for Joss, but sometimes passion can spill over. Thank you for your comments, send it your comments, send this. Send this. I can't see Trina being that low down and skank as to undercut Joss by pairing up with her boyfriend. Ja, I mean, Dex, I can see because I don't know anything about him. He's a weirdo. If Trina does get with Dex, her friendship with Joss would be over. Sandra Cathy wrote, the big wigs didn't think Sprina's storyline was going to become so huge of a beautiful story. The Haunted Star was a mini picture intriguing with danger and love with a handsome white man and a beautiful, intelligent, petite black woman. The dynamics of the storyline was huge. Therefore, it needs a dramatic dynamic ending for the end of that storyline the leap trina did jumping into spencer's arms sealed it i was surprised at myself tears were coming out of my eyes i tell you these two young actors worked it guy sandra also commented portia is the worst she joined vulgar, vile Esme to destroy Sprina's relationship. This storyline is horrible. I just can't say it enough. I'm surprised GH didn't appreciate the fame of this brutal couple, which has been generating notoriety for GH and other countries outside of the U.S. Thank you for those comments, Sandra. Sandra, I agree with you. The writers didn't know they had uh, Sprina and Spencer popular with the viewers. I think they bit off more than they can chew, and now they're scrambling to piece how the outcome would be with a Esme and Spencer storyline. As for Portia being the worst, she absolutely is. Here we have a mother going against all principles and pairing up with Esme who tried to kill her daughter. The temporary writers need to have a seat and wait until the strike is over. Thank you. Sandy Moon comments, they absolutely worked it. The writers took us on a trip full of love, innocence, and hope. Then woke us up, and it was all gone. What a mean trick to pull on loyal fans. Thank you so much, Sandy. I say it was a dirty lowdown trick. They got us all invested in the Sprina storyline. Now they're introducing characters at Spencer and Trina's expense. Sandy also says, if Portia hates Spencer, how would she ever accept Dex, one of Sonny's goons? Thank you so much, Sandy. That would be some food for thought for Portia. Marsha Green writes, since they didn't think that Sprina's storyline was going to be so huge, why don't they embrace it? Hmm. Never want to give the black person any praise. This is 2023 and GH and everyone else needs to get past this race stuff. Love sees no color, only love. Thank you so much for that, Marsha. Marsha, I truly believe that the writers have exploited Trina and Spencer. Thank you. Aisha Martowi Joyho writes, I hope Sasha doesn't go through a fraction of what Carly went through at Fern Cliff, where she also did not belong. In hindsight, Carly would have better been off going to prison, where she has been at the mercy of Mary Pat and the mad doctor 
who was going to electric, electric shock her for his own ends, with who knows what kind of outcome. Hopefully, Sonny can wrap up the Pikeman Mason Ava situation and be of actual constructive assistance to Sasha more than he was to Carly when she was in a similar predicament. Thank you so much, Asia. Asia, I don't think I was watching GH at the time when, when you mentioned that Carly was at Fern Cliff. Thank you. L.E. replied, I totally hope so. In this case, though I think Sonny is already suspicious of Gladys, especially on the heels of finding out that Sasha was going to end her guardianship and that Gladys didn't really want her to. L.E. continues, I don't know about that Trina and Dex storyline. There may be some smoke there. I remember in previous scenes between her and Dex, especially when he was watching her and Joss at the Metro Court when they first met, that there seemed like an undercurrent of something brewing between them. Thank you so much for your comments, L.E. The only time I noticed how weird Dex was was when Trina was embracing Trina at, at Spencer was embracing Trina at the hospital when she was when she was there to see about Curtis. He just stared at her, them. I don't know which one he was staring at. Sabrina Hughes writes, "Hey Queen, there is no way the writers will put Trina with Dex." Some people will blow a gasket. That would be enough to make Curtis walk. Thank you so much for that, Sabrina. I don't see Trina being that naive or stupid, whatever, to um, go with Dex. That is just another stall tactic by the writers to throw us off base. Thanks. Lucy Lennon writes... Deep inside, Spencer and Trina know the truth. They're a 21st century Romeo and Juliet. Let's hope they don't end up like William Shakespeare's couple. Thank you so much, Lucy. Could it be jealousy by the other cast members of Trina and Spencer's storyline? Sprina seems to have taken over and some people may have sour grapes i don't know thanks natalie pinkston replied yes thank you natalie diane smith writes esme will try to hurt trina spencer and spencer will try to save her and get her and placed in a coma Leave for his movie. Come back asking for Trina. Diane also says, Why, why, Mr. Frank and writers don't want Trina and Spencer together? S.O.S. Is someone out there? Thanks so much, Diane. We hear you. I know the old Esme never left, and she will attempt to hurt Trina. And Spencer will come to her rescue. I still don't see Spencer and Esme being together in light of what she did with his father. Thank you. Marsha Green writes, Either Esme or Heather may break out again and gunning for Spencer. I hope Spencer and Trina will have a date night out together before all of this happens. Thank you so much, Marsha. Esme is her mother's daughter, and she will show her true self. I think the murder will come out of Esme, and she will try to hurt Trina. Thank you. Angela Clark writes, I can't see Trina and Dex. They won't look good together. Don't see it. 
Thank you so much for that, Angela. I can't see that one either. If Dex gets with Trina, I think Joss will go to Sonny and Sonny will get rid of Dex. Maybe run him out of Port Charles. Thank you. Pascali Martineau writes, that's messy. Excuse me if I mispronounced your name. Yeah, Pascali, that would be very messy. Hot Tan writes, it would be great to have Lulu back to shake up Dante and Sam. I always found it weird that Lulu is never mentioned. BTW is the Russian set Carly's old house. It definitely looks very similar to the house that Carly and Jax lived in. Thank you for your comment, Hi Tan. I wasn't was not watching GH when Carly and Jax were together. Does anybody recognize the house? Desma Walker writes Spencer, you need to bypass Portia. Be there for Trina. Her mother is never going to like you, so stop trying to please her. As long as Trina loves you and you love Trina, then that's all that matters. She says, also says, I think it's funny that Sprina have decided to keep a relationship that was already low key and practically non-existent low key. The whole let's keep it low key for Portia is stupid. Spencer, I am starting to believe is not as into Trina as viewers originally thought he was. When Rory was around, Spencer was chasing Trina. But as soon as Rory died and Esme washed up aboard the Haunted Star, his obsession with Baby Ace began and has continued since. Spencer to me appears very wishy-washy when it comes to Esme. One minute he's snapping at her and being rude. The next they are bonding in parenting parenting classes. Also, how did Trina and Spencer go from we will we will face this together to let's go low key route for Portia's sake? It is becoming that Spencer and Trina were just meant to be a couple that generates ratings rather than an actual couple. Thank you so much for that, Desma. I agree with you 100%. I feel like GH used us to promote the other characters on the show. Thank you. Hatan responds, You know the best place to be low-key, Spencer, is in your own home. Because I guarantee it won't be remotely close to $10,000 a week in his Trina voice. Your own place and have Trina move in with you. Problem solved. Thank you so much for that, Hot Tan. Andrea Welberg commented, GH has now made Trina unable to fight for herself or stand up for herself to Esme. Thank you for that, Andrea. Yes, it does seem like the writers are allowing Trina to take whatever Esme dishes out. Anybody else would have told Esme off. Trina does not have a backbone. Marsha Green commented, when Trina went over, she should have asked Spencer to speak with him in person. If these new writers are trying to break them up, well, they are doing a pretty good job. It is like Spencer and Trina did a one degree turn and they are in no man's land. One minute Trina does not want her mom to hurt and keep their relationship low key. First, you both need to go on a darn date. Second, say you love one another. Stop caving into pleasing other people. 
please each other. Spencer, you told Trina, whatever comes up, you both will face it together. Did you and Trina go to sleep and wake up in this nightmare that we are witnessing? Thank you for commenting, Marsha. They did a 360. I feel that they should have never had the temporary writers come on board, but I know they wanted to keep GH afloat. But if you are going to mess it up, clean it up. Thank you. A.M. Lindsay commented, This is the time Spencer should be standing by Trina, regardless of what her mother thinks, comma. Spencer should live up to his words. I am not going anywhere. Thank you so much for that comment, A.M. Lindsay. What happened? Did Spencer and Trina forget that they made that pact? It doesn't make any sense. The story is just meandering. A.M. It is the writers, the temporary writers that are coming up with this crap. Thank you for sending in your comment. Sharon Lee writes, it's about time Cody tells what is going on. Thank you for your comments, Sharon. Since Cody is now being vocal, he needs to tell Mac that he is his son since he has so much mouth. Thank you. Sherry Robinson writes, I will never understand why Dex tells Joss everything about his job. Thank you for commenting, Sherry. Yeah, he tells everything about his job, but won't disclose to her his personal life or his family background. Thank you. Cindy's Christ writes, these new writers seem, seem to be moving some storylines along, which is great. Esme will have a clear path to Spencer. He and Trina already ended when the ship docked in Port Charles. Yesterday, Trina went over to officially end things with Spencer because of Portia. It was a ridiculous conversation because they had really already ended. Plus, they shouldn't let other people be a factor in whether they proceed. Now, Spencer is vulner vulnerable and may end up marrying Esme in order to be able to raise Ace. I will say that I'm glad that Spencer and Trina put an end, put it into the limbo. They've been in, but they are going against their feelings. Thank you for your comments, Cindis. Remember when Trina and J Joss were at the Metro Court, Joss told Trina to go see Spencer. Trina admitted that she missed him, so. As for them ending things, I didn't catch it. And their relationship did not end when they docked in Port Charles. And it was Spencer who initiated them being on the down low until it blows over as far as Portia is concerned. Marsha Green responded, I enjoyed your comments today, my dear. Team Sprina, I think Trina and Dex will have a conversation about when he was in the military and how the guys who got shot handled things, etc. How could she help Curtis out? Thanks, Marsha, for commenting. I think that will be the gist of their conversation about how Curtis can recover since Dex was in the military and he saw injuries of that nature. Thank you. L.E. replied, uh, commented, I am hoping that what Spencer said, what Spencer is saying and meaning is that maybe 
They shouldn't be out front and center so much where Portia can see them or hear them. But instead, Trina is more than welcome to come over there and kick it with him. He kind of had a devilish smile on his face when they were talking about being low-key for her mother's sake. If that's the case, forget Anne Esme. I'm all for it. Thank you for your observation, L.E. I saw that devilish grin that he flashed to Trina. Ain't no way he will fall for Esme when she slept with his father and got impregnated. By him, that would be some messy boots. But you saw that Esme sitting on the bed with Ace. She was plotting something big. And she contacted her crazy mama. It's about to go down. Thanks for commenting. Well, royal family, that's it for today's comments. I will do another comment video later this week. So, keep them coming. Please send me your thoughts, your comments, and your theories, and we will discuss later. Until then, this has been the Daytime Drama Queen saying, ta-ta.